Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week's been pretty um, dull, not much has happened, except for this. This is actually really interesting. So there's like this common, you know, misconception that MacBooks are invincible. But of course, like everything, it has a weakness. And MacBooks, of course, have a penetration spot. That sounded a little bit weird. Now, this new report or article that I read this morning I say this morning, I mean 20 minutes ago, was actually quite, you know, intriguing and actually quite shocking because as it's already been taken place in a lot of different areas. Now this new malware isn't the new kid on the block, it's actually been used in different areas and has been doing some attacks on different businesses such as Booking.com. But this has now targeted the general public unfortunately with a sad face on my face there's about 100 million people on planet earth with a macbook and while i also send my commiserations they also have to deal with this next phase of attack and this new malware called amos don't come at me for the name i literally i'm just as dumbfounded as you with the name who is naming these malware it's, it doesn't strike fear into opponents whatsoever it just sounds like a disease Without further ado, I do want to waste your... No, no, sorry, no. I don't want to waste your time. Um, let's just get straight into it. Right, new Atomic Mac OS called Amos. A Atomic and Mac OS for combined together for short. Like I said, don't come for me. Stealer campaign exploits click fix to target Apple users. Basically a form of social engineering. I'm going to go through why this is really bad. Not because it steals your data and spies on you, but... Other reasons as well. Let's start from the top because we can't stop from the bottom because that makes no sense. This starts with a form of typo squatting. Now you may be asking, Dan, what on earth is typo squatting? No, your computer does not squat. It's basically a way for threat actors to use fake websites. So basically they go around and create a fake website. For example, imagine this website as a telecom provider. It could be, you know, the real thing. But someone comes along and be like, mm, you know what, I'm going to duplicate that, make it fake and, you know, exploit people out of it. Now, this method has been mimicking domains based off US telecom companies like Spectrum. Now, once this user goes onto this fake user website for a telecom company, maybe your Wi-Fi is down or, you know, wherever it may be, maybe you can't download a game in time, you know, whatever the thing is you're trying to do, and you go on this website and it's a fake domain, what then happens is you have to go through a capture. Now, if you don't know what capture is, it's that stupid little annoying thing that comes up where it tries to identify if you're a robot or a human. Probably about the billion times I've done it, it probably thinks I'm a stupid human or a stupid robot. It, it, it can't tell. Now, these people thought it'd be funny to make this a more annoying by actually making a fake one. Not only are you doing a capture, you're also doing a fake one. So it's not even worth your time. Once you fail the capture and it ruins your self-esteem, it then prompts you to go and try a different verification model. And by doing so, it causes a command to be copied to the user's clipboard and the victim is then shown a set of instructions, depending on the operating system, but more so macOS, while they are guided to run a PowerShell command or on, on Windows or in the terminal on Mac OS. And of course, you know, going into shell or the terminal is never a good thing. You know, you don't ever run things. You don't know what you're running on there because half the time you could get spied on. But that's, that's just some words of wisdom from your main man, Dan. But then because of this, the shell script asks and prompts the user to enter their system password and download a next stage payload in this case known as atomic stealer and then the rest is history the amos malware is now on your system successfully and it goes ahead steals your data steals your password steals everything that you don't want anyone to know about and yeah end of story that's that's life you know at the end of the day that's that's life now if you go through all these stages I can't lie, you, you kind of deserve to get your Mac hacked. That that rhymed. Mac hacked. 